All right, here I go on my next project. This shouldn't be very difficult. I've still got to do the drilling of entry holes, but I wanted to cover this. This is a relatively simple project, and it's uh, got just some internal ferret work cut and an outline that in this book, and that's this book by Patrick Spielman, Fun and Easy Scroll Saw Projects. I did the big heart box out of it last week, or I wonder if that was a week before. But he cut that out of acrylic mirror, one eight inch acrylic mirror. And I really like the way that looked. Well, I don't have an eighth inch acrylic mirror, so I'm going to take the material that I have, as I always do, with all my woods and what have you. I use a lot of scrap and leftover stuff and what I have on hand. So that's what I'm doing here. And I'm experimenting with this. This is the pattern. And what I've got this on is a point a point oh eight piece of acrylic with a mirror uh, stick and peel and stick mirror on it. That's what I used on the hard box, as a matter of fact. I got two pieces on there. I got the seam of it coming down through here. And what I got is I put a piece of wood, eighth inch wood, on the front. And the reason I did that, I didn't want the blade of the scroll saw to mess with this peel and stick. Hopefully that will keep it from uh, coming loose. It worked on the heart box, and that's what, I, that's what I'm doing here. And plus it'll give me a wooden replica of this when I get done. And as I'm learning with this acrylic, as I cut, the, uh, put the, cut this off a larger piece, I'm going to have to cut very slowly. Uh, when I say slowly, the, the, the uh, scroll saw is going to have to be at a low speed because if you move the blade too fast, it won't cut the acrylic, it will melt it. So I want to cut it because you melt it, it just welds itself back together right behind your cut. So uh, doing that in a straight line is one thing, you can go ahead and break it off, but doing uh, fret work like this, this may not work, it's an experiment. In fact, you may not see this. If you see this, then you'll know it probably worked. So uh, I'm going to drill these holes. I'm going to get over the scroll saw, and I'm going to very slowly and carefully uh, cut these internal cuts. There's not a lot of them, and they're fairly large, so it won't be too difficult to cut. But like I say, I'm going to have to do it very slowly. So let me get the hole drill, holes drilled, and I'll get over to the saw. And start seeing if I can cut it without it. We'll know if I cut, say I cut one of those large ones right there. If that piece won't come out, then I know I'm melting the acrylic and it's welding itself uh, to the other sides, to each side. And so I got to cut it slowly. And I'm, gonna, I'm not sure I'm going to get this to work, but I think I can. We're going to find out.
So, as this started out to be an experiment, I almost have to say it was successful in what I was attempting to do. I uh, cut that without it messing up, and uh, it cut clean. I didn't melt it. And the only reason I used this uh, acrylic, I could have put that on a piece of wood. He had an acrylic mirror in the book, and I thought, well, uh, I've got some mirror, and uh, I've got some acrylic. And the only reason I have the acrylic is I built uh, a beehive, a top bar beehive. I had two of them, but the second one I built, I uh, put an observation window in the side of it, and this was left over as the window for the uh, for the beehive. That's a long story, but that's uh, they're both sitting out there right now uh, with no bees. But that's another story I'm not going to get into. But anyway, that's the reason I had that. It's been sitting here in the shop for a while, and I thought I didn't buy it to cut on the scroll saws, but I wanted to try it. Main thing is not to get it too hot, so I used a number three, and I cut it very, very slowly. The, the saw at the slowest speed it would run. I thought probably with a smaller blade and less speed, it wouldn't uh, melt it. It didn't melt it. It got warm, and I could smell it, but it cut it clean, and... Uh, I didn't mess with cleaning anything up on the back side. I was afraid I'd mess the mirror up. It's just an adhesive mirror that fits on there. So, but it looks okay. I uh, got a little piece of walnut and uh, cut that to fit. Made a made a little slot in it. That's just one one uh, pass with a uh, table saw. <clears throat> Make that blood that it fit perfectly from this. And then I rounded it with a router a little bit, sanded down the corners, and put a little finish on it. So I like the way it looks. What I'm going to use this for, I'm going to take this down to my consignment shop, set it up there, and uh, hopefully that'll catch people's eye. i got a small spot uh, there, and uh, nothing really stands out. I hope this might be an eye catcher. At least people come to my spot, and I may get a few more sales out of it. Anyway, that's kind of the idea. I saw that, and I wanted to try it, and it worked. I'm, I'm happy with it. It was successful. And I also took the wood that I layered on it and made another one. That's a, I'm not sure what that wood is. It was in a seconds package. It's slightly larger than one eighth. And uh, I got a little piece of maple made the base for it. The same thing. I cut a slot there and glued it in. I had to make two passes to make that fit. But anyway, I made it fit. So that was kind of a little bonus. I got two with one cut. So hope you like that. If you do hit the like button, uh, if you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button. I'm going to do a couple of uh, do an Eiffel Tower. I think I got I found this pattern for a nice little Eiffel Tower that you cut and put together out of plywood. It's uh, fairly tall. It's taller than a sheet of paper, and uh, it, you don't it doesn't take glue. You can put it together, take it apart. Just got that's a slot construction. That's what I'm planning for my next little video. It's out of the same book that this came out of. So if you like that, hit the like button, like I say, and uh, if you're not subscribed, subscribe to see what other strange thing I'm going to try. I like to experiment a lot, and uh, I never know what I'm going to come up with, and, and I do have failures. You may not see the failures, but I do have failures. So uh, thanks for watching. I hope to see you in the next video.